We're going to break down how to bring chi sal into the fight and using your skull and bones off of chi sal. Now, um, a lot of people do chi sal where it's kind of aggressive where you push in, push in with your shake, and he's pushing in and it's just, you know, you're working off of that tension. I don't do that one. I kind of like the circular one to where you can learn how to use his movements against him because this is about feeling an attack. He doesn't tell me, give me an attack. See, it's not about knowing where the attack is going to come from because we're so close, it's, not, it's going to be hard to tell. I have to feel which one of his arms load up and then I re react around it. This is the greatest thing you're getting out of Chi Sao. Now, you can always bring your 52 shape into it. See, this is a skull and bone where I could be going for a hold and hit, a hold and throw, depending on what I'm trying to do. But the whole game of Chi Sao is to learn to have sensitive arms, is to make your sensitivity that you have here naturally, your palm sensitivity, you want to extend that all the way down your arm to your forearm. So you want this same sensitivity right here, hands up. Because now when we're fighting, when we come in here, see that right there is going to be my moment of chi sound. See, the moment I put my hands on him and he pushed back in, that's the moment I'm looking for to ride off and get my shots. That's about as big as chi sound is going to look in the fight. This is not going to be chi sound in the fight. You know, he should be boop-bopping you all up. You're not going to get off that chi sound. What you're getting out of chi sound is the fundamental ability of sensitivity that you can get through your forearms. See, so when I'm using my chi sound, I try to stay away from using what's already sensitive, which is my palm. I'm trying to build up the forearm, so hands up. So when I come up and I brace, see, this way, my hands are still up. If your only sensitivity was your palm, you would do this and he should be doing this. See, this is supposed to be like this. So once I put this against him, I can affect him. And if he's trying to do something, I'm going to feel it, thread the needle, follow him out. She said, we're 52 blocks full throttle. We don't hold hands or warm bottles. You won't be coddled. I unapologetically let my nuts hang till tomorrow I offend, unfriend, and unfollow. It's 52 blocks full throttle. We don't hold hands or warm bottles. You won't be coddled. I unapologetically let my nuts hang till tomorrow I offend, unfriend, and unfollow. 52, 52. It's 52.